Christ? We had. The moment when God himself would come to the earth and take human form. It was a joyous occasion, and all of heaven rang with songs of celebration. For God the Father had sent his Son to redeem the world. The sound of the heavenly chorus was, well, heavenly. <laughs> a far cry from those months previous, when only Gabriel was sent to announce to a young girl of Nazareth that the Lord God Almighty had chosen her to be the mother. she was frightened. And immediately she wondered how this might be since she had no husband. But once it was explained to her that this child, whose name would be Jesus, and be conceived by the Holy Spirit. Well, somehow she just seemed to understand. I mean, this was powerful stuff. Her world, in fact, the whole world, would never be the same. In time, she shared her news with her cousin, Elizabeth, and as she was explaining of the child she was carrying, she would sing a song of praise that would ring through all of time. Was 
certainly tiring. And the couple could find no available room in the inns that night. All they were offered was, well, a stable. And it was there, in the most humble of beginnings, that Mary gave birth to God's holy son, Jesus. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and she laid him. tell that God had come, Emmanuel. Then the most wonderful thing happened. The shepherds departed to tell everyone what they had seen and what they had heard. The good news was being spread right there and right then. But as for Mary and all that had happened, there was so much to think about that she simply craved.
so than on that first holy night. Maybe that's why we hadn't noticed the star. that would change the course of human history during the brief life that Jesus would live with us on this earth, becoming one of us, Emmanuel. God's plan for salvation had begun. But this life, this delicate, precious life would be given up for all of mankind, sparing us what we truly deserve and offering us instead the ultimate gift, the gift of grace. But this gift, this gift found its humble beginnings on one simple night in a stable, 
in a small village called Bethlehem. And from there it spread to all corners of the earth. And it lives on in the hearts and in the minds of, of Christians. <laughs> Christians everywhere. And all because of the birth of that one child. Jesus. 